and try to an extent. Uh, I, I've saved a fairly serious topic for us to finish the show on today. During, mm-hmm. during the week, you may have heard it. Um, we were talking, Sam and I were talking about the comments reportedly made by former Norwich City Sporting Director Stuart Weber. Uh, Weber has apologised after the comments he made in an interview with a local newspaper about Raheem Sterling, several other black players. Um, the remarks he, he, he said to have made were in an article when he was discussing his pending attempt to climb Mount Everest for charity next month. So as I said then, I'll say now again, Stuart decided to go a bit off piste literally Mm -hmm. uh, in this conversation. This is what he said, Stuart Weber. He said, we want to help the guys who really need it, not the ones who are maybe privileged. He said, I saw that with our young footballers, Johnny Rowe, wouldn't mind me saying it, but him, Abu Kamara, Max Ahrens, Jamal Lewis, Ryan Sterling, back in the day at Liverpool, where they came from. It had to work out for them in football because the alternative is potentially jail or something else. Now, some, including kick it out, uh, Sanjay Bandari, who's a pal of this show, Sanjay thought, yeah, yeah, this could fall into the category of racial profiling. What do you think? I think it could fall into it. Personally, I think it's weird. Like you're doing a, a climb for Mount Everest and you're now bringing this in to talk about yourself and your achievements. I think he, he clearly has a little bit more background knowledge on, on, on the individual players that he said. That's why he said it to his argument. If it was, if it was pertained to me, that would be 100% the truth. If it wasn't for me, it'd be working in a in a factory or doing some other things that would get me in trouble. That would if he was talking to me specifically. So what he said, would, yeah, that would apply to you. That would apply just to Troy, but that wouldn't apply to everybody there. So I w- I would like to think using a bit of hindsight. I don't know this this man at all, so I don't have any allegiance. But clearly, he must have some form of background on these individual players, the areas that they were brought up in, and the lifestyles that they they potentially could have led to say something like that. I think it's weird. I think it's it's, it's not not the greatest thought process to say those things. It's a bit but insensitive. I just don't think he's I don't think he's outwardly tried to be racist. I just think you're in a, a position now where unfortunately without explaining that to the umpteenth degree, he's he's going to be labeled that way inclined and he he's got a lot of work to do to 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 fix it. But for me, I think it's just a weird thing to say when you talk about climbing Mount Everest personally. Yeah, you had your say in it. I, I think it's I think it's indiscreet, even if he is privy. Because my argument would be, is that he must be privy to anecdotes about these four players that enable him to have used them in a conversation. And if he hasn't, then he should be smacked for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also indiscreet. And of course, if you're parents of children and that that are, that are being accused of potentially having t- choices that might have been made for them if they didn't have football, you're going to mm-hmm. feel that you're being criticised because Absolutely. they're your children. Mm-hmm. But I also gave the example. He's done a podcast with me. We've spoken about his challenges in life and the choices that he's You're made. Right. Yeah. I've done. I've done. I've had forty-six podcasts with leading sports uh, sports people. Um, six or seven of them have, 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 have all spoken to me about choices, including Paul Wince. It's not a matter yeah. of breaching his confidence that they've gone the one way or another, and sports saved them. Now, am I racially profiling somebody? Because I did six interviews, I didn't have anybody from the from from the white community saying that actually at that certain stage sport saved me. I could have gone this way, I could have gone that way. And the resistance I had to it was, come on now, Stuart Webber is stupid because he should have realised that by naming four black kids, mm. he's going to be putting himself in a position where somebody can make this accusation and up steps Troy Townsend yeah. to do it. Yeah. The other side of the argument is is that. If it's the anecdotal evidence that he wants to bring to bear to be able to make a point about how good sport is and how it can mm-hmm. save all kids, then he should have thought about it a bit more. And he shouldn't actually be using... Because I think he's used those kids to say, look how wonderful I am. Mm-hmm. I brought these kids through. Yeah. And, and I, you wouldn't bring Raheem Sterling into the conversation. You'd bring Norwich players into the conversation. Yeah. Because, because Raheem Sterling is so important a player and yeah. so recognisable, I brought him through. Yeah, and it also stands to the, to the point of what's happened with Raheem over the, the past few years in terms of racial abuse as well. So, yeah, I, I agree with that. I think, like, if he was to mention somebody like Tyron Mings, who's had quite a, I would say, my compared to me, of quite a privileged way yeah. of living life, and he, he did it that way, then you'd go, OK, that's a that's a strange thing to, to throw mm. Ty in the mix. So I just think there's a bit more that he clearly knows that we don't know. I, I, I tend to agree with Simon. I think it's more... More about him and, and telling everyone how good he's done because yeah. Raheem, if he didn't have Raheem in, you could go, okay, understands, but Raheem sure. doesn't make any any sense as well. I just think the whole thing's a little bit weird. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.